Welcome. This is Barry Jones from the Angel School, and we're here for your monthly angel scope for the month of July for the sign Pisces. So Pisces, right away, this card fell and I had a, a vision too to confirm this, where I just saw um, a couple kissing and, and the message is like, so Pisces, who are you falling in love with this month? <laughs> Um, <laughs> so it looks like with the message from your your guardian angel as a message of support, um, the helper of emotion would be the knight of cups. So who's sweeping you off your feet in this month? Um, you know, this could be um, you falling in love or your 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 existing love is rekindled um it could be that you're falling in love with life or feeling really connected to life to yourself you know to your higher self and that you just feel in alignment with everything you feel the world is full of opportunities i've seen these um glass doors sort of like bay window doors that open um and so you're just feeling lucky and you're feeling um lighter you're feeling more secure and about yourself about your alignment with the universe you're just you know really trusting um the writing teacher and maybe you might um you know be sort of t spiritual teacher um you know, maybe you're going to talk about angels or teach about angels or you're feeling more connected with your angels. Um, maybe you f feel inspired to pen or write a book or, um, yeah, just so many things here. But the idea is that you're falling in love with life and, and possibly with someone um, in this month. So let's take a look at, oh, Okay, so it's the sun card, and it really just Archangel Uriel is the archangel you're working with this month. It means the light of God, um, you know, gets those those thoughts where you are just inspired, where you feel, um, you know, if there's a, any kind of challenge, if you need help with studying or something, um, or planning something, really work with Archangel Ariel, I mean Uriel, to kind of give you those ideas. Um, to help um, just inspire your your plans. Um, and there's something else I wanted to say too. I mean, even giving you insights into people and um, relationships and and how to manifest things. I'm, I'm seeing him right, you know. Um, so even if you need to reverse something a situation I mean, he can help you with that and give you that peaceful solution he can help you register uh things differently you know reframe um things differently um if you're dealing with addiction um you can call upon archangel uriel this is just what i'm seeing to help you um sort of reframe your your situation um, help you to reframe the sorrow. You know, sometimes, that's the word I'm seeing, sorrow. Sometimes the way things, we, the way we believe things occurred, um, maybe they were a little different than what you were seeing. And you, because you were only seeing it from your perspective and not the, the, the full version of the story, um, just yours, then, you know, sometimes you see things and the pain that you're f feeling is not necessarily all, uh, I'm not trying to dismiss your side of, the, of it, but it just may not be what you thought, okay? So it's just really important to, um, you know, this is a this energy is saying that there's just a, a fresh new start for you you're feeling revitalized your energy is really um just soaring and you feel um so sort of, sort of this leo energy so like you know really creative really inspired um and you know 
prosperous <laughs> and happy and you know if it's love that you that that occurs for you enjoy it you know trust on uh, what you what you're getting face value here um when something reveals itself to you then then trust your intuition about what's best for you in that moment but just don't worry at the beginning and start creating all these you know things that could go wrong i often think about the whole idea with the um the other day i was looking at a deck and the ten of swords and and what occurred to me for the first time about that card is you know all of us we just hate that card because it's bloody and but the idea is is that all the swords before were in our in our heads there was the threat of them and they kept piling up until we reached 10 and where it becomes physical and it's that whole idea that our worst case scenario that we imagine that our ego projects if we stick with it long enough boom we end up really stabbing our own selves in the back but we knew it was coming you know the the ten of swords person is not a victim they knew it was coming they just wouldn't get up off of that <laughs> they wouldn't let it go you know when the, something was telling them when you feel bad that's that your higher self saying don't think that way you know and if you can't really enjoy it you can't focus on the pleasure then you shouldn't be in it okay because you just don't want to hurt somebody else and hurt yourself unnecessarily all right so yeah this is just um just enjoy be open you know what comes be open to the opportunities and just be in the moment pisces okay be in the moment um trust your intuition but don't get caught up in suspicion because that's not intuition suspicion is ego inspiration is your higher self all right so this is just going to be a really powerful and positive period for you and um and but remember you create your reality so the, the universe is setting up you know beautiful things for you but don't push it away don't push it away okay all right so have a beautiful month and god bless you all